Hello everybody and welcome back to Marwell Manor. So we've got uh, the final load of corn. We're, we're done in our field. Parked up the harvester right there. I don't think we're going to get rid of it quite yet. Um, the leasing cost is like really, really high. So, you know, we'll, we'll kind of let it just stay there as we hang tin again. And we're going to go sell this right up the road. So hopefully we can make a little bit extra cash. So we need to buy a cedar. I still haven't decided what I want to do. Um, sorry, I just got back home and now my phone's going nuts and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so we need to to get this going. Sold. I want to get a new cedar because we don't have one. We have a planter, but not a not a cedar. So that's what we need to get today and get some of that action going because the fence is almost done and the fence can go back in the other field. Uh, I took care of the animals. They're not well taken care of, but they are taken care of. They're not starving by any means. They are f fat and producing milk at a 100% rate and all that other fun stuff. So we can, you know, just progress forward on some other stuff around the farm because I, there are plenty of other things I want to do. Whoa, about flipped. Because reasons. Another thing we could think about doing is a, uh, a land purchase, which we will take a look at here in just a minute. Sorry for, like, the the odd cuts. I got the yawns, and I don't know why. Like, I started recording, and now I'm now I'm getting sleepy. I think it's because I can w finally wind down. I don't have to go back up to Minnesota for, like, a few weeks. So it's very nice. We're at 5570. So this should pay out pretty well, is what I'm hoping, anyways. we still got to do something with that. We may take care of that right now. I've got a thing to do it with, or we can get a thing to do it with, at least. Yeah, $71,000. So, you know what? Let's park up here. Let's go to P. Actually, we said land first, or whatever we want to do. But this is almost done. It won't take much longer. We can knock all that out. Um, how much is one of these fields? 113. 52, 152. Wow, some of this stuff is like... Uh, hmm. 59,000 for the... We can get chickens, because I don't like doing chickens. We could do that, though. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff is, like, really expensive. Uh, huh. So that's a thing. Maybe goals. Hashtag goals. So, in the vehicles, we need... Not that... Wheel loaders. Uh, we want a cheap one because we're, well, we're, we're cheap. Uh, let's go with this guy with no options. Let's go ahead and lease this. Yes, I do. Okay. And we need a bucket. So, wheel loader. I want the big bucket. Go ahead and lease this guy. And I want to get the uh, silage pit cleaned out. I, I want that to be done for the map updates because I don't know if that's going to break things too awful bad. I mean, I figure it is, but hopefully not too too terribly. Alright. So, on we go. I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, so yeah, I just want to get this cleaned out because, one, it looks like trash. Two, the map will be updating hopefully any day now. And I want all this out of here just in case because, you know, we did, uh, we did kind of pay for, you know, this stuff. So let's go ahead and get that out of there. Is chaff? I don't think that this thing's gonna just take chaff out of the out of the blue. Probably not. Oh, it did. Oh no, it just poured it on the floor. Great. That's awesome. But it's out of our hair, right? We can start by just unfolding this. God, I am so sorry. I've got the yawns. I don't know where they come from. I was just, you know, sitting here and watched a couple videos. I was just trying to unwind, and, and I was like, okay, got the computer hooked up, and we're good to go, right? Like, we're good to play games? Yeah, we're good to play games. Where are we? We're good to record games? Yes, we're good to record. And now I'm sleepy. So, take that for what you will. This is, like, really heavy. Like... But generally surprised. Is this just like pouring on the ground?
It just poured on the ground. Instead of in the thing. I've... I don't understand. I don't understand anything in this life anymore. We've had nothing but trouble doing anything with silage. Wait, is it just gonna go there? Does this go down? What is going on? No. Yes. Here. Here's where it goes. Maybe. No. What is going on? I don't enjoy any of this. What have I done? I own all of this land. Why can't I pick this up? Thank you. I don't understand what's going on, guys. I am so sorry. I've tried, like, my best. Sometimes the triggers. Like, really weird. Is it just going down on the floor again? It's just going down on the floor again. What have I done? Okay, so it has to be right there. It has to be at the very tip. And I don't know why. So we have, like, 6,000 liters of silage just underneath the thing. Underneath the trigger. What is wrong with triggers? FS-19. You had triggers right in FS-17. What's wrong, my dude? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I've never had so much trouble making silage in my life. What is going on? What is this game? I don't... I, I can't. I just can't at this point. I am not mentally well enough for this. Okay, so if I dip it right here. Where does it go? Oh, it's right... It's right there. I don't know why it's right there, but that's where that trigger exists. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. What is this game? Oh my god, this is going to be such a bad video. I am terribly sorry from the very start. Because this just isn't fair. I wanted to use the mouse. And then the game's like, no, you can't use the mouse because the bunker's too small. I'm like, okay, I want to use this. No, you can't do that because of logic. Great game. What what can you let me do? You see, this is why I hate on FS19. Why is this so unpolished? Is it here? It's not there. It's outside of it. You have to dump it outside of it. That's so stupid. I have like a... Oh my god. This game. Do, qu do consoles have this issue? Like... Is this just me? Is this just my bad luck? I, I don't understand. I just don't get it. But I know one thing I'm gonna get here in just a minute. Can, don't wiggle so much, please stop. Please, please game, please. Just, just let me, just, just, just stop. <laughs> this, is, this is so stupid. Okay. Anyway, that is a project for another day. How much is actually in here? Does it, like, say? Can I see it? Is this the out? Right? We should have some slurry, right? Okay, but it's kind of important that I know one of these questions, because... We're gonna go rent something, and I want it to be okay. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do, first of all, is get a slurry tank, and, uh... I want, I want to do some slurry spreading with uh, 
like the Samson or something. I think the Samson's going to be it for us. So, 350 horsepower. That should do nicely behind the fence, right? So let's go ahead and lease this guy. I, I figure that this is going to come back and bite me in the butt. Where's the big thing? Right here. Uh, yes, lease this as well. Okay. Fint. The Fint is not 100% done, but it is done enough for me to say I can drop this tool here and go get our toy for the day because I want to put some stuff down in that field. But now I'm kind of worried that I can't put stuff down in that field and that I'm going to get just absolutely hazed by this. I can just, I, I can feel it. I can feel that it needs to be cultivated beforehand, even though that's not how we do it in the real life. Because... <laughs> Because you can't. <laughs> you do it directly after harvest. I promise. It's in August or whatever. Because we do silage. So yes, it's in August. So That's a big tank. That is a very, very large tank. I was expecting something a little bit smaller. Oh, I'm glad we got the fent. All right. Wow, this thing's huge. By the way, um, you know, if you're part of the channel and you don't know my job, it is legitimately pumping poo. That is my job. Well, I fix poo pumps. So, you know, it, it's kind of the business, what we do. All right. Hopefully, this thing can get filled. If this can get filled, then we're going to have a good day. We're going to get a lot of stuff done. I got, I just got this feeling. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what I do. I work for a company called Puck. And we build uh, dragline hose systems and pumps and carts and just all kinds of stuff. And I've been servicing a dairy up in Minnesota uh, for all their stuff. They own a lot of our stuff. And you know, they own so much that we do on-site um, on service. So that's what I've been doing is all the service work. And I figure right now somebody is yelling at their computer that this is not going to work. What is this? Your water. Okay, let's make sure I'm on the correct pool. Now, if I was a guessing person, I would say that the overloader pipe, and that is my Facebook, wonderful. If I was a guessing person, that is now my phone, great. <laughs> I, I can't steer now. I would say that this overloader pipe, why are you turning so sharp? What is going on? Like, seriously. Please have something for me. Oh, <gasps> it works. Great. Yay. So, that didn't even fill us up, but, but that is a start. So, how fast, well, I should have stayed back there, huh? Because I need to know how fast, really? We're going to play this game right now. There we go. Mute you. Thank you. I don't know how fast it makes us slurry. Do I have to wait overnight? Probably. Come on, just back up, just back up straight. Come on. There we go. Okay, no, so it makes it real time, just very, very slowly. Okay, so that's some good stuff to know. But these are pretty cool. These tanks here, they're they're kind of cool. I've seen a couple of these. Well, this type, not this specific tank. But uh, this unit on top is called a four-speed. So that's like a Dota pump, right? 
and that's on an arm. So you would dip the arm down inside of your uh, your your tank or your uh, your pond, whatever you want to call it, your holding cell or slurry, and you fill it up with that. So you turn on that, you let it run, and it overloads into the whoa hello. Uh, it overloads into the tank, and that's how you uh, that's how you fill this thing up. Uh, you can also overload from the back as well, but uh, not as popular as the other options. I just passed where I needed to turn, and I have to go a long way now. But yeah, that's uh, that's what they do. So that is how you actually use this. So it's all hydraulically run. There's a there's a motor there. That's actually 45 degree. I could probably tell you what it is once we once we stop. We'll take a really close look. And I can tell you probably the manufacturer, but that's definitely a Dota, just by the shape. It's not like a Cornell or a Noon, uh, because it's squared off, right? So, squared off means Dota, more than likely, because they run both a cast and a sheet metal uh, housing, because they're, they're lower volume units, because they're not like under a lot of pressure. What all controls do I have here? Like, I'm really... I'm a little slurry distributor. No, I don't want to do that. I wish it would give, like, full control, because using... Using stuff like this is actually kind of neat. Uh, and it's a lot faster and more efficient than what the game suggests, okay? So, the purpose of this tank and the reason of its size and the flow rate, okay? So everything is based off of flow. This tank is made to do one up and one back of one section. Though so a section is 640 acres, right? Or is it 560? One of the two. So one up, one back. So you go up the, the mile, and then you come back the mile, right? And then you fill it up again. That's, that is the normal sizing for these. Um, yeah, there's no, um, that kind of sucks. I wish it would give the, uh, the control. Oh, okay, it does. Oh, no way. Yes. I could actually do this. Oh my god, yes. Game, you've done, you've done me a solid. But yeah, this is how you would use it, right? So that would go down into your, uh, into your tank and yeah so you would do like uh, this here you'd extend that all the way out this is too short uh, probably I don't know how and let's say uh, use like a culvert system so this would go down in the culvert that may be what this is for but uh, ours go a lot farther than that <laughs> so uh, yeah, but our our we we don't run tanks. We are we we're, we're a tankless system, so we do dragline, which is something I would like to see implemented in the game. Um, is is dragline because of my company. So what our stuff does is you'd have like a pump, a big big pump, stationary, uh, in a field, or well, kind of in the field. So you'd have something, okay, there's like multiple steps. So you have to, uh, depending on what you're, what exactly you're, you're using, you would have to agitate first. Okay, so mix the solids and the water together. And then you would uh, run that through a, uh, like your, your lead pump, whatever your main pump is, right? And then you would uh, have boosters set up every few miles. Yes, I just just say miles, <laughs> and uh, that is actually how it works. So the let me make sure I'm on. Is it, is it spreading? I think it is. Yes. So yeah, the. Uh, you would have your your lead pump, and sometimes they uh, do like a supply deal and run a what they call a lagoon feeder, which gets tossed into the lagoon, 
and you would uh, do your agitation or whatever off of it, and then that would feed the uh, your lead. Then your lead is run at like 180 psi at 2100 rpm, and that hose would go to wherever the first booster is if you're running a booster. Okay, and then that gets thrown into the back of a implement. Um, and then pulled across the field with like the uh, kind of the same type of attachment that goes on the back of one of these units, right? So, you know, that's how, that's how they work. But these, I, I don't, I know they have to scale it down, but it's scaled out too much. Uh, the amount of uh, filling required for this is just is too much. Like, seriously. I wish I was joking around, but uh, you would not use this entire tank for 300 feet. I mean, it just, the feed rate is just astronomical um, for this setup here. Like 29,000 liters gone before the end of a field, and it's supposed to be an up and back system. So that's something that I believe the Giants needs to kind of work on because that's kind of trash. And that means we don't have enough slurry. Because they overdid it. Imagine that. Let's slow down here. Runner out. There we go. Alright, let's lift her up. So, what would happen with this system is you'd have a, uh, like a frack tank on site. And, uh, yeah, you'd use it. Wow, that was like a waste of 29,000 liters. Oh my. Um, that's a little dumb. I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, I was expecting to do a lot more of this episode than that. That hurts my soul. That was a lot. Um, that's really unrealistic, guys. I don't have any other plans for the day. Uh, that was that was it. That was what I was gonna do. I was gonna I was gonna sorry this field. Oh no. Okay, so I need to do things apparently. All right. Well, I, I hate to tell you, but that's all I've got time for. Um, we done one up and back. Not even back. Wow. That's really bad. That's not good. That's actually like the opposite of good. How much do I have here? Y'all only have 27,000 liters. Giants. What? Like, I understand it's for balance reasons, but... No. No, that's that's not correct. <laughs> I really, I really, really hate to tell you that, that even though I know you're trying to balance the game, you've got to... You're going to have to tweak them numbers because that's ridiculous. I mean, at least give me three passes on that little field. Like, it's not even that big. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I am sorry for the short video today, guys. Um, But I do have things I have to do. <laughs> that, was, that was what I was going to do. Oh, no. Um... I will try to get something figured out this evening. I might have to adjust some numbers in the save file. But, uh, yeah, if you want to chastise me, you can. I'm sorry, and I'll see you in the next episode.